Hello, my friends. Well, as you can see, we have fallen onto Snarky Puppy's Lingus. I was going to let this poll run till next week, but it was a pretty overwhelming response. So instead of just waiting around, I just decided to go ahead and do this. Um, I noticed that the song is 10 minutes and 43 seconds, so uh, bear with me. We're going to be... Uh, in this for for a little bit and i'm sure as you guys already know because you've seen this um i don't know what to expect you know i i've seen like little bits and pieces of it uh i definitely i, I don't think i've watched more than two minutes of of this um ever but um this is going to be really exciting i i do know about Corey henry uh and the fact that this solo in in this song is just a totally epic um i was at the nam show a couple years ago and Corey was there and he walked by me and my buddy who's a keyboard player <clears throat> jumped at the chance to uh to go talk to him and it was cool um just kind of standing there and hearing the guy he's a very very humble guy very sweet guy um anyway um so let's get let's get into this and i'm excited about seeing what Snarky Puppy is all about. Here we go. Well, right off the bat, I gotta say, I love the fact that everyone's wearing headphones. That's an obvious comment, I know, but still, very cool. Be in that room and hear what I'm hearing. This is studio quality, <laughs> recording studio quality mixer. I like that. Nice progression. I think that's Mark Letiri. Usually when I see reference photos for Snarky Puppy, I see the bass player. Uh, so if anybody knows uh, his name and if he's the leader of the group or whatever, let me know in the comments. I like how the bass is tucked in between the, the horn riffs. They're opening up the groove here. This is this is cool. Get the percussion going on. Uh, envelope filter on the trumpet. It's interesting. 
effect on the sax. Kind of like a doubler. This reminds me of uh, Brecker Brothers. With that kind of wah sound on the trumpet. So solid in the pocket, right on top of it. Okay, we go back. We go to a pulse here. Oh, that's got to be Corey. Yep. Stock t shirt. Better not mess up that uh, pattern in the background if you're the drummer or the piano player there. can comp for themselves during their solos. It's awesome. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, I 
love that. Oh. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Beautiful pattern. Horn arrangement. Oh. 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 Oh man. Oh, syncopation. Awesome. That was that holy smokes, man, that flew by. Wow. Wow. That flew by so fast. Holy smokes, man. Uh... <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> uh, that that's the first time I dropped the F-bomb. Uh, <laughs> that's the first time I dropped the F-bomb. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just discombobulated. Um, wow. Uh, my head is just swimming with things to say with this um first off here's what blows me away and as a musician i understand this uh very strongly <clears throat> all this going on behind his solo section is boom 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 this this pattern okay single note there's no chords to play off of there's i mean that's the only rhythm and then you got a solo over that okay it takes one one heck of an imagination to be able to play over that and to take it somewhere harmonically not just melodically but harmonically and that's what Corey henry does he just he just takes it out i mean his knowledge of harmony and structure is just freaking mind-blowing and he starts off the solo establishing that right away boom he's just hitting these chords all of these chords and he's like look at the palette i have to play with that's how he starts off it's like jeez it's like oh my god what's he gonna do he's gonna play over any of that stuff that he was doing harmonically his imagination i mean it, it i mean obviously he has the ability to play pretty much probably whatever he's thinking so technically he could play it's what's in here it's what's coming out of here and out of here that is mind-blowing about this guy you know um not just the technical ability but what he is hearing and what he is feeling and the ability to deliver that out to other people so that they, so that we can enjoy it that, that's mind-blowing to possess the power to be able to do that on the level that he is and the understanding that he has of music um is just absolutely mind-blowing um <clears throat> he he took me on a ride i mean i i could not anticipate a single flipping note that he was going to do except when he set up these bat badass patterns you know um plays plays the riff and then plays the riff in it uh down you know or up you know he plays a, if you know what a pattern is basically it's the same 
kind of notes. It's the same pattern of notes, but you know, uh, using different notes. And he did. He uses patterns a lot, which which is great. I love patterns. Um, but he's able to, you know, do these descending patterns or ascending patterns. So you're able to come with him. It's not just random notes all over the place that you're having a hard time tracking. He brings you along, you know, and, and, and part of the, the beauty of, of improvisational um, stuff like this is that if you're really good at it, you're going to take the listener with you. And, and you're going to um, help the listener to anticipate what you want them to anticipate. And, and that engages you with, with the artist a lot more. You could easily go up there and just start shredding and ripping and, and doing stuff and lose the audience. And it's like, oh, it's a technical feat. That's wonderful. But to be a, a true musician like Corey is... You're not going to do that. You're going to bring your audience with you. It's going to be telling a story and riding a roller coaster. And that solo is just freaking unbelievable. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> um, drummer, man, phenomenal. Yeah, you got to have, I mean, you know, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll say it. <laughs> to me, the most important person in the band is the drummer. Um agree or disagree with me but um if you don't have a good drummer if you don't have a drummer who who is like this guy in this band um it's it's just like everything you put on top is just teetering on a shaky surface you know um you got to have solid drummer uh to have a great band and and this guy is, is really really on top of it really solid um I don't know how many members are in the group. I think I saw a picture with 18 guys in the group. So maybe if I stuck in there, nobody would notice. I should, maybe I should hang out where these guys uh, practice. But, um, oh, man, that was just incredible. And, and lastly, uh, here I was thinking that I was going to be sitting here for, you know, 10 and a half minutes trying to figure out what to say. And that was not the case. That was extremely easy to watch, and it felt it felt like a five-minute song to me. I, I, I mean, wow, um, wow. Um, Lingus, we like it here. Well, I like it here too. <laughs> Thanks for the suggestion, man. I can't wait to do um, some more Snarky Puppy, and um, man. Uh, again, thanks for thanks for joining me. That was awesome. <laughs>